Well, good morning, everybody. So we're on the encroachment side of my land, and this had a uh, had a very bad fence. It just had like welded wire fabric and maybe a row of barbed wire on top, and cedar trees were growing through it. I, mean, I realize where trees want to be, and that's anywhere a, a bird poops, so they can sit on the phone line up there, or sit on the fence, poop the seeds down, and the trees are going to grow on your fence. And they're going to grow because there's no stomping by the cows or mowing or anything like that. Anyway, we're uh, probably 100 yards here. We had incidents in the past where in this encroachment area, which we've got a better view of it now, uh, they had cows running on it and one of the bulls. This has been my feedlot area over here where I take the, uh, once the cows are weaned, I take them over here to feed them out before I take them to get harvested. Anyway, he had a bull come through and try to rape them because the fence was so bad. So we decided just we're going to go ahead and replace this fence. Anyway, we're using the excavator to clear it out, and it's doing a real good job. We kind of learned some techniques about how to get these cedar trees out, you know, fully uh, root and all, root and tree and all. You can see down here where there's just stumps sit sitting out. We kind of we're using a different technique that didn't work very good. Anyway, so that's our project for the next couple of weeks. We're going to go ahead and build a fence here and just show you. There's the uh, mobile home right there and the highway over there. So this area here is one of the paddocks that does not have any water in it. So I've been staking out where I want to build a pond. I actually need to find some clay and harvest it so I can finish uh, Lake Timmy where the, where the uh, dam was leaking. Um, you know, I was compacting it down and it actually pushed that dam down about two feet. So I need to put some clay on it before the rains come this fall. I'm kind of looking, looking for a good spot. And we've got a lot of rocks here. I mean, I got a feeling that up, up in this area over here, I can dig a little pond. I really don't want to do it down here because this is a nice deep topsoil area. I planted some trees, I don't know, but I haven't really taken care of them. So I'll probably leave that alone. And then the paddock next to it. Let me walk over here. So Lake uh, Lake Timmy is down where you see the kind of white stuff down there. That's Lake Timmy, and you can see how you've got this plateau when it comes down. And that whole area coming down is is where we found that we have clay and we can dig a hole and we can uh, uh, it'll hold water. So I'm actually thinking about, oh, and also something else to notice. Um, I know you can see tire tracks here, but right in here, I've noticed that the grass is always growing taller. So I think I've got some seepage coming down from there. So I may build a little pond right there, which is real close to where I need the clay. Go ahead and dig it out. Uh, hopefully it'll hold water and then move the clay to that other area. But just a short video on what's going on. You can see we, uh, it's almost August, so we've had, I, I mean, it's hot, but I would say we've had a pretty mild summer. We've actually probably had two inches of rain in the last three weeks, which is unusual. I mean, I always say we get 100 days, 100 degree weather with no rain, and that's what all the earthworks is for, but that hadn't been the case this year. Anyway, on the other side of that fence, you can see deep lush uh, Bermuda doing real well, but you look at other areas and it's, it's kind of brown. Now this paddock and this paddock, because I knew I was gonna be running uh, the equipment in to take that fence down, I put the cows on here for a couple of days, let them eat the grass. But uh, in fact, there's the cows there. I got them in the encroachment area, the encroachment pond area. They're chilling. I guess their, their bellies are full. They're laying down too in the cud, which is pretty cool. Anyway, just a quick little update. Hadn't been posting in the last couple of weeks. Um, this is what we're up to. Y'all have a great day.